Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. Okay, for this video, I want to show you a tutorial about how to create an arch tool using a complex family method. At the end of this tutorial, our outcome will be creation of the arch tool with different types and also different sizes. Okay, with different materials or parameters. Okay, like this and also with symbols. Okay, first step we go to file and create new family. And then we navigate to our family templates folder. Okay, way to find it, you can find it in your program data folder, Autodesk and your Revit version. In your Revit version folder, you just select your family templates folder. Then choose your preferred uh, format for your template, English, and also, and then choose metric door. Okay, generic door. Then click open. <coughs> so here, you are given a predetermined set of parameters and planes to begin with. So, so that's what Autodesk have prepared for us with their family templates. Okay. First of all, we just want to delete here. Delete the original gem. So delete. The frame here yeah, we delete the frame and then <clears throat> go to your project browser click exterior okay so we want to make the exterior view as our work plane or working plane working planner or working area so <clears throat> next we go to create Okay, now the, the first step we must choose the opening here, or you can just tap your keyboard until this opening is selected. Then select your opening. So you see the option bar here, grid, or maybe your option bar is not at the top. You must look around at your bottom because maybe it it is stopped at the bottom because it's it can be setting like this dot at top dot at bottom okay and then tick your tick elevation transparent in tick the elevation box in and did the sketch and click your start and radius up drawing tools and just draw the arc across the two parallel line of the opening. Okay. Alright. Then delete the line here. Then click finish. After that, we must test, must test our new arc opening to, go, to verify its flexibility. For example, 1.2. Okay. Okay, so it's all working well for our first step. Okay, next, after we modify the opening, we want to create the gem for the door, okay? The gem. So for the gem, <coughs> go to create tab and then choose extrusion button. Go to work plane, click set work plane. Then pick a plane and pick a wall here, our wall. Okay. 
topic here so we want to set the work as our working plan and then <clears throat> go to pick lines tools uh, make sure to tick the lock button and select the opening lines and then after that go to offset set to 25 or 1 inch and make sure to be offset inside of the opening okay not outside so pay attention to your blue dash blue lines here okay pick lines set 25 offset inside and then draw to close the loop okay of the offset close the loop and lock here and close the loop lock here next we go to the properties panel see the extrusion end we add to negative 75 then choose the material create tab Click the new parameters here and then type jump. Okay, so group under material and finishes under the type categories. Click OK, then OK. So skip twice and then finish. So here we got our door jump. And next we want to align it. Go to modify tab, choose align, and then in the option bar, prefer choose wall faces. Then tap until you selected the wall faces, and then select the inside of the gem. Then click lock here. And press escape twice and you can see we have our door jam okay next we want to create the door lift using 3d sweep or not the door lift but uh, the door frame okay the door frame by using profile so you go to create and then still in 3d view mode go to create then sweep pick path then choose the path for your door frame right you just click the inside corner of the frame here and also here then finish after that, we want to load profile. Okay, how to what folder? We, we you can just find it in the uh, profile folders, yeah? profiles. And for me, I just want to use the curtain wall profile. Just for this example, open. Okay, and then we in the profile choose 65 by 150 so now we have our profile here set up at the center of the sweep path and then you can see in the option bar we've got to control the x axis y axis and also the angle so for this maybe we want to control the, the y axis to maybe to cut inside negative one to four Okay, one for four. So it's offset inside. Okay. 
Then okay, finish. There you go. Your door frame with custom profile. And then repeat the step for the other side of your wall or door. Still the same, create a sweep, a pick path, and just pick the inside corner of your jam and then finish in the profile just choose 65 y exists change to negative 144 okay then click finish so here are our door frames okay next you want to create the door leaf or the door panel okay we go to the exterior elevation create tab go to create tab extrusion we got we choose the peak lines and offset we Try 3 mm. Okay. Set offset to 3 mm and then set the two sides and radial top of the gem extrusion to the inside. Skip and did it is again peak lines for the bottom we we want gap of twelve mm skip twice and then trim at ten corner And then set to extrusion end to negative 35 material door panel make sure in the type okay then okay then click finish So here's your door panel. Okay, next, go to your reference level floor plans view. You want to create door symbol for your arch door. So under the annotate, you see the symbolic line here. Okay. Then we just want to draw the straight line from here. Uh, Def hundred, and then left for thirty five. Then close the loop. Okay, so overlap. All right. Then click the symbolic line again. Annotate symbolic line. We want to draw the up.
I'm sorry. Annotate symbolic line. Choose the start and radius arc. Then click top here. Next, we want to turn off the door panel illustration for the floor plan view. So, click your door panel illustration here and then go to the properties panel, uh, visibility, graphics override, edit, untick the plan RCP, and also when cut in plan, in plan RCP. Okay. So, untick both of these boxes. Then click OK. So go, you can go to the your family types here, okay, and you can just create new type of different size that you want. So maybe I just want to create a duplicate here for type D1. D1, okay, 100, 100, and then to type D2 then new type again type D3 then after that I can just click your preferred material for your door panel jam or whatever okay so click OK so now we have three types of door with different size okay next we must open up a project or look into project okay so project one have so here family four type d1 okay first we must draw a wall wa or go to s yes. you can just type wa or go to your architecture tab for me i just off the architecture tab and then click or draw some wall some lengths then then type dr for door command so you can pick family for here click here okay then you can just pick your size of interest type d3 maybe smaller d1 d2 change to bigger width So here's our arch door. So to flip the door, we can just go to the floor plan and you can see the arrow here. The arrow indicates, always indicate the outside of a component, the outside of exterior of the component. So such as wall. So this is this indicates that this side of wall is exterior or steam exterior by Revit. So you can just click here to flip and to flip your door symbols. Next, we can just create different materials for different size of this door. Okay. Just to get like this okay so that's all for me hope you guys learned something from the simple or essentials door family creation so thank you and 
wait for the next video.